Hey Rick and Morty fans, so let's install the trough and backboard lighting. First step is to take off the apron. Um, you'll have some brackets here with a Phillips head screw and there's a nut behind it. You need to hold that nut while you unscrew the Phillips head screw. The nut will just turn on the back. Uh, yeah, there's no other way to get it off as far as I can see, so you got to get some pliers in there and hold that. Once that's off, you can take the apron off, just slide it forward and we'll come off and then we'll put in the trough lighting. So here's the piece for the trough lighting. It comes with a 3M adhesive on it. And that's going to be, uh, you just peel the red covering off of that and then you're going to stick it onto the back of the trough just like that. This hole is cut out to go around that nut there and uh, you just make sure it's pushed all the way down to the bottom and just adhere the tape to the back of the trough. The trough and backboard each get one wireless controller. Uh, has um, uh, tape on the bottom of it so you can stick it where you like. All it needs to do is sit back in here somewhere. Uh, however you want to place it, this cable gets plugged into it like that. And this little sensor right here is the remote sensor. And you can just leave it sitting right about there. It's fine because you'll be able to take the remote from the front and uh, click it at the sensor and uh, change the colors and the brightness. This uh, five pin plug plugs into this five pin connector here and you'll just match up the black dot with the, or the black line with the black wire. And uh, we'll give you some zip ties and mounting um, connectors for these wires here. So you can just place those little sticky pads and zip tie these to the sticky pads. Uh, the wire that you're going to run for the power is going to come right up this hole here. So you'll see and it needs to plug into this side of the wireless controller. So there's that. For the backboard lighting it's pretty straightforward. You'll have a strip of backboard LED lights. Uh, it has blue tape on the back with adhesive. You're going to pull that tape off and just align it underneath the um, plastic channel here. Uh, you'll feel under here there's a wood block and then there's the plastic channel that butts up to the wood block. You're just going to want to put it right under the plastic channel here. So just uh, stick one end over here and run it all the way under and you're going to want the end with the plug on it to be coming off of this side closest to the power supply that's down there. So you'll just pull the tape off and then push it back up under there you can see I have it back up under there and just stick it all along that length there. And depending on your preference of where you want the backlighting, uh, you can actually go behind the wooden rail that's in here. So this is the wooden rail right here. You can actually put the strip up and behind that. Uh, you could also put it on it. So, uh, you know, take a look uh, before you'd hear it maybe and just see what, what's going to work best for you as far as where you want it to fall onto the play field. Once you have the strip installed, you'll have this connector hanging down here. What you're going to want to do with this is use some of the zip tie mounting points and put them way up in here in the top underneath the back box uh, up against the bottom you know, of the cabinet here and uh, just route this wire up that direction and attach it to those zip tie mounts. Uh, basically, you won't be able to see it from the front of the game or above the game. Uh, you'll just want to make sure everything is secure with your strip up against the top here. And then just bend that wire back up in there and connect it. And you're going to mount the control box back up in here somewhere. You can go on the side or the back of the cabinet. Uh, it doesn't really matter so much as long as the uh, this cord can reach it. And then, of course, the little IR piece is going to dangle here somewhere so that from the front of the game you can uh, just have some sort of line of sight to it. It doesn't have to be exact, but basically you want to get it up in there somewhere. Now it's time to wire it up and you're going to have this wiring harness. The white end is what's going to plug into the power supply down there in the corner, uh, that black box. One short end is just going to go right up to this box here and then the long end you're going to need to route up under the play field so basically uh, from where it's plugged in to this black box i'll show you in a second you're just going to route it along with the other cables uh, that go up to the play field and under the play field 
and you're just going to route it all the way under the play field along the side with all the cables that come along this side and then put it up through this hole and attach to the box that's here. So here's the connection um, down here. I have our topper lighting plugged into this and then I also now have the new connector for the backboard and trough lighting plugged in. They're the same uh, connectors, it doesn't matter which one you plug into. So you can just choose one and it'll be fine. So while I'm plugging everything together I left the box dangling here but you can see I plugged in the shorter lead up to this box and I just shoved the rest of that longer lead up under the play field here in the back in the box uh, the cabinet and then I'm gonna look raise the play field up so I have a better angle to get to that stuff and then start zip tying it along the bottom of the play field so now I have my cable coming from in the back of the cabinet up under here it's not attached to anything uh, it's not routed any which way and what I suggest is to start with it down here and just see where you're going to route it and what it needs to go under. So everything looks pretty good right now. It can go above all that stuff. It's going to go under this cable here and then it seems like it'd be fine just going up along this way. That won't be in the way of anything and then it can go through the hole there. So I would put it through the hole, give it a a little bit of extra room there and now you can start zip tying from the top down which will leave you whatever extra cable you have down here to go along with uh, along the back bottom of the play field here and it can even go down with these wires or wherever you want to secure it so it's nice nice in a bundle there and, and attached with everything else all right so mine's all zip tied I use these little velcro uh, wraps just makes it a little easier if you want to undo them and redo them I have it going down all along here down to the bottom here and following this bundle of wires down out the back of the play field that's basically it for the install um, obviously you want to get back under there uh, once you confirm all the function uh, and um, make sure you put the box in the back of the cabinet up there and Get the wires out of the way. You don't want to hit it with the play field when you're putting it back in. And uh, and we'll get to testing next. So obviously you want to put this all, button it all up so you can see what it looks like in the game. Uh, but what you're looking at here is a double RGBW strip. The top is just white and the bottom is RGB. So on the remote you have two sets of controls. This lower white section is all just for the white lighting. So basically on and off and as well as dimming functions and then this upper section is for the RGB section so you can obviously turn it to any combination of these colors that it has an option for and you can also set the brightness up and down or turn either of them off completely so if you just wanted white light you can just use the upper part set it to whatever brightness you wanted and you get a nice glow from the bottom here of course I'm sure you're gonna want something like uh, you know maybe some sort of uh, where's the thing there oh, there we go turn that on some sort of green lighting or something to match the rest of the play field and then of course the back board lighting is the same right now it's on one of the functions that lets it uh, fade and adjust different colors which is at here the, uh, at the bottom of the remote here so you can mess around with those but of course as long as you're pointing the remote at it you can change the uh, the colors of just the backboard lighting versus the trough lighting all you have to do is be pointing at that specific direction so there you go you're all set button it up and enjoy your lighting so here's what we're looking at for the trough lighting mounting. I suggest one square there, one square there. And then you get to pull this cord together and all these together. And this little guy, this little IR gizmo can just hang around there. And uh, you can also point it towards the back if you get better, maybe a better angle that way. And you're all set.